So today I'm gonna to show you how to add a payee slash bill payer onto your Relay business bank account so you can pay different businesses or individuals. Now we're gonna actually hop over here on the desktop so you can follow along step by step in this process. Now I'm also gonna go off screen so you can see the camera in full with actually the entire screen here. So we're actually currently on our Relay homepage. You can see with the top left hand side over here, it says home. And what we actually want to do is go over to our payments tab right over here. Let's go ahead and click on this. That's going to go ahead and take us to payments. And then from right underneath payments, you're going to see this one over here that says payees. We're going to go ahead and click on this option. And that's going to take us to our new payees tab. Now, we actually don't have any people on this already. But if we did, you're going to see all of the different names right over here. You can filter or you could even search for individuals once this list starts to build out. You could also even run W9 reports and then check out any archived uh, previous payees or individuals that you were sending money to that you don't do anymore. Now, right over here on the top right hand side, you're going to see where it says new payee. Let's go ahead and click on this option. Now, this is going to take us to a pop up menu. First and foremost, it's going to ask us to give this person a nickname. And you can see over here, nicknames can be used to organize the payee inside Relay. This is not a formal payee name. So this could be, you know, just anything that helps you out as well. So we're just going to go ahead and give this a quick little uh, name here with the test. And then it's going to ask us for an email address. It says email is optional, but one thing to keep in mind is if you have an email, there's a couple additional things you can do. And I'm going to show you here in just a moment. All right. So once we went ahead and tossed in the email, the next thing it's going to ask is for the account classification. So if we toggle on this, it's going to ask if this person is a business or a personal. So go ahead and choose whichever one works best. And then there is a default memo, the reason for the payment, you can go ahead and plug it in here, but it is not required for this section. And next up here, it's going to ask the payment method. How do you want to actually pay this person? So we're going to click on add payment method. And you can see here some of the different options are like ACH, which is a bank to bank transfer, domestic wire, which will have additional costs. There is also a check or international transfers. We're going to choose ACH. And then from here, you actually have two options. You can either enter their payment details manually. So if you have their information, such as their account and routing number, you can plug in. That might not always be the case, but you can actually go ahead and toggle this over here where you can request the payment details from this payee. So once we went ahead and clicked on request payment details for this payee, some additional options come in here for us, which one we can go ahead and plug in a phone number if they have given that to us, which means it just makes it a little bit faster for the person to do so. But because we plugged in the email, that will also just be more than enough. So the phone number is not required. And then there is a message right over here, which you could either pre-fill in yourself or you can leave this as is to be able to do that. You can over here, check at the bottom for the W9 form to be required going through this process. And then you can have it CC yourself or whoever is going through the process to add this payee. And then you can go ahead and click on create payee to add them to your payee list. Now, once you went ahead and created your new payee, there is more to show you when it comes to utilizing your Relay business bank account. And no worries, we got you covered here. Check out our next video on screen to keep on learning.